Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings all right let's see your person's current feelings for you collective oh sorry sorry i'm knocking everything down here i just want to show you the deck that i'm using because some people are going to ask it's called journey to oz and wonderland all right let's get that out of the way all right here we go Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the collective, whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. What are this person's current feelings for the collective, please? All right, looking at their current feelings, we have the strength card here. It could be a Leo for some of you. This person's holding back something from you. I feel like they're holding back their love because I'm looking at the heart here. This person's holding back their love for you. They're being quiet about their love or their desire for you, their passion for you. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for the collective, please, whoever the collective's dealing with and connecting to in love. Uh, we also have here the Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of silence. This person feels like there's a lot of silence between the two of you. Uh, they feel like there's a lot of silence. For some of you, this person feels like you're being silent with them. And because you're being silent, they're also being silent. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for the collective. We also have here the Page of Swords. So they are watching you. They're definitely watching you, spying on you, keeping tabs on you. But they're not speaking. Or they're not speaking about their feelings or about what they want with you. They're keeping that to themselves. Well, I mean, what is it that they want with you? Let's go ahead and ask that question. Let's just jump into that. Spirit, what does this person want with the collective? What does this person want with the collective spirit? All right, so looking at what this person wants with you, we have the fool. The fool. So they want some sort of new beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to take a chance. You know, the fool and the strength card, this combination definitely makes me feel like this person is very much in love with you. They feel like they're in love with you. A fool in love. I just feel like this person hasn't really fully expressed that to you or I feel like they don't really show you that, but I feel like this person's like very strongly in love with you. With the full card, for some of you, this is a new person. Doesn't have to be, though. Tell me more about what this person wants with the collective spirit. All right. We also have here the king of wands. Yeah, this person wants to pursue you. Again, I'm getting, I'm getting more of that same energy of them feeling a lot of passion for you, a lot of desire for you. Um, this person's obsessed with you. They're absolutely obsessed with you. I feel like they're hungry for you. I don't know what that means, but they're hungry for you. King of Wands, male or female, doesn't matter the, the gender, it could be a fire sign. We have a lot of fire energy here. 
There's something about this person wanting to take action towards you, but they feel insecure. There's some sort of insecurity holding them back. So instead of taking action towards you, they're just watching you and spying on you. Yeah, they're definitely looking at you as someone who's being very quiet and silent. I just noticed the direction of this, this, per, um, this person. <laughs> this bird here. You see this bird that's looking over here to this person? This is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as this quiet person, four of swords, introverted, her hermit mode. You're like, they, they look at you like you're in hermit mode. You're intentionally keep it, keeping quiet, intentionally isolating yourself from them. Um, you're, you're connecting to your inner peace. Or like you just wanna you just wanna be in peace. Hmm. Like like you just wanna be left alone. That's what they're that's what they're assuming about you. They're assuming that you just wanna be left alone. <clears throat> Tell me more about um, what this person wants with the collective. Spirit. All right, we also have here more, more fire, page of wands. More fire energy here. So yeah, page of wands is passionate communication. This person wants to, they want to communicate with you. They want to um, exchange messages with you. Again, highly interested in you with the Page of Wands. Very, very interested in connecting with you. B being in contact with you. This is kind of weird. This person's like desperate is what I've noticed. Like they're desperate to, they're desperate to, they're desperate to what? I don't even understand what this person wants with you, honestly. I don't even feel like that was answered here. Hmm. I feel like this person's thinking about what they want right now. It's almost like they want, um, they're looking for that immediate uh, gratification is the word immediate gratification immediate pleasure okay uh let me look at you collective this person's confusing me a little bit so how does the collective currently feel about this person that's showing up in the reading How does the collective currently feel about this person that's showing up in the reading? All right, collective, looking at you, we have the seven of cups in your current feelings towards them. The seven of cups, tell me more. We also have the uh, seven of wands. Seven and seven, two sevens. Seven of cups, seven of wands. Tell me more about the collective's current feelings. We also have here, ooh, the Six of Cups. Okay, what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Metamorphosis. Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody else. Some of, okay. King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Some of you are connecting to a new person or you're going to be connecting to a new person. Yeah, we have the death card here and the five of pentacles. You're exploring your options. You're looking elsewhere for um, another relationship with the seven of cups. Tell me about the seven of cups and the collective's feelings, spirit. 
Why is this so weird? I feel like the energy is so weird. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Collectives. Ooh, here we have that King of Cups. We also have the Emperor. Okay. Yeah, some of you have a new option. Okay, so some of you have two people. I get it. You have two people um, wanting, wanting to be with you, wanting your attention. Tell me about the Seven of Wands connected to, to the Collective. Knight of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Two of Cups. Okay. It's interesting how your energy is not showing up collective. It almost looks like you are in hermit mode. It almost it feels like other people have a lot of energy that's showing up except you. You're the only one that's not showing up in the reading because I feel like there's two people here that are being very vocal and you're being very quiet with the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords connected to the Collective. Why is the Collective in the Four of Swords energy spirit? Six of Swords, uh, you're going through some sort of change or transition. Tell me more about the Four of Swords connected to the Collective. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you're cutting something out of your life. You're in the middle of cutting something out of your life. Tell me more about the Four of Swords and Temperance. Yeah, didn't I say this? I said that in the beginning. There's something about you trying to um, be at peace or, or connect to your inner peace, your, your inner balance. Um, there's something about you being like alone, like being in solitude, being isolated or like you're purposely isolating yourself uh focusing on yourself focusing on your healing temperance is all about healing as well healing uh and moving away from the past leaving behind the past cutting out what's not good for you the things you know that are not good for you what what what's not serving you in your life you're cutting that out like you're you're doing a clean sweep of your life you're cleansing yourself it feels like you're cleansing yourself like you're de detoxifying yourself or you're detoxifying your energy you're kind of like in zen mode some of you are doing like yoga or reiki I, i'm getting like a very zen mode hermit mode isolation therapy type of energy from you <laughs> hmm. it's interesting because i do feel like there's two people here but it almost feels like you're rejecting both of them how does the collective feel about this uh, other individual here spirit with the king of cups energy because this is not the same person that showed up over here. Over here you have King of Wands and the Strength with the Page of Wands. And over here you have King of Cups with the Emperor. These are two people. Two different people. I'm trying to get your feelings for each one of them. And it's like, it's like you're checked out, collective. It's like you're not, you're not really reflecting or showcasing any feelings here for anyone. It's like you're emotionally checked out. Your feelings are for yourself. Your feelings are for your own personal healing, your own personal um, growth, your peace, your balance. It's almost like you're focusing on just being happy on your own or creating happiness within your own within your own energy, within your own spirit. You're becoming independent or you're, you're strengthening your independence. And you're just, you're doing what's best for you. 
and you're blocking out the noise. You seem a little bit overwhelmed, Collective, is what I'm noticing also. I feel like something has been overwhelming you, and I feel like you're really trying to... to bring your emotions back to balance, back to a place of balance and, and stability. But the only way to achieve that is by you isolating yourself and also by you cutting out external energies that might be disturbing you or upsetting you or causing you stress or have caused you stress in the past. Um, I feel like you're, um, like I said, it's like you're, you're cleansing your, your energy. A, a, a deep, deep cleanse. How does uh, the collective feel about this King of Cups? Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Could be a water sign here, that's the second person. All right, in your current feelings, we have, oh, you see, look at that, more swords. Queen of Swords is your current feelings. Look at that. We have Four of Swords, Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, Queen of Swords. It's all swords. This is why I'm saying, like, you're not connecting to your feelings or your emotions at all. You have no feelings. You have no emotions. at this moment. It looks like right now your priority is uh, your mental health and your, uh, your peace of mind and your stability. I feel like you want everyone to get away from you or I feel like you want everyone to leave you alone. You, look, you seem a little bit fed up also, Collective. I feel like you're fed up with something. You're, you're fed up with... Um, like, you're fed up with like dealing with things that don't serve you, that don't help you, that stress you out. Tell me more about the Collective's feelings towards this uh, King of Cups individual here. Nine of Cups, yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right, it's the same message. Here we go again, same message. Nine of Cups is all about um, uh, feeling happy on your own, which is what I was already talking about. You see, this is your priority. This is, this is what you're focusing on. It's, it's you creating happiness all on your own, independently, within your own energy, within your own heart and spirit, you know? within your own space. Uh, you, don't need, you don't need anyone else to be happy or to feel good. You don't, need, you don't need these people, whoever these people are. Alrighty then, okay. Uh, how does the collective feel about this King of Wands energy spirit here? Male or female? How does, this, how does the collective feel about this King of Wands uh, person that initially showed up in the reading? Tell me more about that. King of Wands showed up here again. Your feelings is the King of Wands. Tell me more. Also the Three of Wands. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting that you're interested. No, I'm not getting that you're interested. I feel like this person's interested in you, but I don't feel like you're interested. I feel like you're interested again. You're interested in just... Um, you're interested in yourself. Again, you're interested in yourself. And that's, that's about it. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at um, what's going to be happening moving forward between you and whoever you're dealing with. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, what's going to happen between the collective and whoever they're dealing with in regards to love moving forward? All right. 
So we have here the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, okay. What else? We also have the Messenger. These these uh, these cards are special cards. This deck has has different cards that are not the normal tarot cards. Tell me more about what's gonna happen between the collective and this and whoever they're dealing with. Metamorphosis. Knight of Wands with the Messenger and Metamorphosis at the bottom of the deck. We have Justice. We also have the King of Pentacles. Okay. We also have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Knight of Wands, Justice, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Mess it down. Interesting. So there's definitely this person from the past. Um, this Metamorphosis card it reminds me of the Judgment card. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely feeling someone from your past wanting a second chance with you. Um, they're definitely going to be pursuing you or they're going to keep pursuing you. And there's something about this person trying to convince you that they've changed with the King of Pentacles and the Justice card. They're going to convince you that they've changed, that they've matured, um, that they want something serious with you that you know they're going to step up to the plate they're going to put in the work they're going to do things right um however we do have the seven of swords showing up here so unfortunately i feel like you're dealing with someone who um is a liar right just to put it bluntly it feels like it's it's a liar here so if this person tries to like convince you that they've changed keep in mind um it's not true this person is just telling you whatever they whatever they think you want to hear from them. Um, whatever they think is going to, you know, better their chances of, of getting you back um, there. It's almost like they're disguising themselves as the King of Pentacles, which which is um, someone who's all about commitment and loyalty. Um, but in reality, um, their true authentic self is the Knight of Wands, which is um, basically a player, a, a player person, male or female, um, who's not really looking to settle down and, um, they're very inconsistent. They're going to be very in and out of your life. Um, once, once you give them what they want or, or once they get their way, they lose interest very quickly is what I'm getting from them. Okay. I actually feel like this is your energy. Um, collective, the justice card here. So I feel like you're going to know immediately what this person is trying to do here. You're going to immediately recognize um, their attempt to manipulate you and to convince you of, of something that you know is not true. It's like you're going to have this uh, BS detector. I'm getting like a BS detector. You're going to immediately recognize that this person is just telling you a whole bunch of BS, you know? So it's not, it's, it's like, it's not going to shake you. It's not going to influence you is what I'm getting. Actually, I want to look into your energy there. Spirit, why is, why is the collective showing up as justice? Oh, okay. So this person is trying to like escape from karma. Um but you're not going to save them from, from their karma. They're trying to escape from karma. They're, they're hoping that you save them from their karma, but I feel like you're not going to do that. You're not going to save them. Uh, okay. Tell me about justice. The moon. Oh, yeesh. And the ace of wands. Okay. And the Four of Swords. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's something about justice being served here. Justice is being served. It's like now you don't want them. Oh, you know what it is? I almost feel like... You know what it is? It almost feels like the, the whole chaser-runner dynamic has, has flipped. It almost feels like it, it's flipped now. It's like now they're the chaser and you're the runner type of situation. Except you're not really running. You're just rejecting them. But I feel like you used to be the chaser. For some reason, I feel like you used to be the chaser in this dynamic. Um, and I feel like you're no longer the chaser anymore. Now they're the chaser. Before, you're the one who really wanted them. Who really, you know, had a lot. You're the one who had, who felt a lot of desire for them and passion for them. And you really wanted them. But they play too many games and it kind of looks like um, uh, like they kept you in a loop. Like, a, what do you call that? Like a, a, a dog chasing its tail type of energy. Like they strung you along or something like that. They, um, or they dangled the carrot in front of you. But now it's, it's flipped. It feels like it's flipped. Now you're the one who's like dangling the carrot. I'm feeling like some sort of vengeance here or like some sort of vindictive energy or, or like you're just like you're um, some sort of payback energy. You're giving them a taste of their own medicine. You're giving this person a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, because it's like now you're the one in power. Now you're the one in control. And you're embracing that power. You're embracing that control. You're embracing the upper hand here. You're embracing that you have the upper hand. Okay, well, I mean, be careful with that, I suppose, because we do have the moon here attached to the justice card, so... You know, I would just say be careful. Because the moon can represent attachments or emotional attachments. It can also represent cycles. So you definitely don't want to repeat a cycle here with this person. Um, you know, just walk away. Just just walk away. Don't, don't engage with this person anymore. Um, let, let karma do its thing, you know. You don't have to stay and watch. You don't have to stay and watch how karma, um, you know, rains down on this person. You don't have to watch that. You can just, it's best to not watch it, you know, just, just move on. Just, just walk away. I feel like that's advice for some of you. Hmm. I almost want to pick a card for advice just to see what the tarot says. Spirit, what's the advice here for the collective in regards to this situation, this connection or relationship? Oh, okay. What's this? Ooh, the Empress. The advice is the Empress, so know your worth. Know your worth. Yeah, and also be classy. Oh, I'm getting that. Like, don't be messy. Be classy. If that makes sense to you. Be classy. So it's kind of like, don't stoop down to this person's level. Yeah, that, I think that's what I was channeling over here. Don't stoop down to this person's level. Yeah. Don't do the whole eye for an eye for an eye thing, you know. Just just um like don't do anything against this person. Uh just be classy. And know your worth. And simply walk away and let karma do its do its thing. 
Okay, so collective, hopefully, hopefully this made sense to you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.